Hey there folks, quick one today. We're gonna to take a slight departure from the Roscoe M68K and instead we're gonna take a look at the Roscoe 6502. This little 8-bit board, 6502 powered with the Stellium Production WDC 65CO2, 528 kilobytes of RAM, eight or 32 kilobytes of ROM, onboard DUR, dual UR, 115.2 kbps can run up to 14 megahertz we officially specify 10 it can do 12 there's been a lot of stuff going on with it just lately there's been tons of work going on behind the scenes zark has been doing a fantastic job on the firmware for this thing so it's got sd card support it's got a monitor built in. it's got a version of wasmon you can load stuff over serial it's a lot of fun and a really great kit it's going to support zosira eventually with video and all that stuff we're working on that as well let's take a look into what's going on with it Let's get some news on the Roscoe 6502. Let's open up Serial and that FTDI will pop up as a device we can open. So we'll open that. And as before, make sure that you've got this set to 115.2891. We can see it, the LED is flashing. Let's make sure everything's up and running. Hit that reset button and there we go. You can see that we boot up, we do quick memory bank check. We've got 15, uh, 16 banks in, in RAM. This ROM that I've got in, I'm using the 8K ROM in this board. We also support a 32K ROM. The 8K ROM's just one bank and we boot straight into Wasmon. So we've got a fantastic port of the original Wasmon extended by Zark. Cannot thank him enough. Really put it out of the bag with a 6502 board. This Wasmon's great. So we can do all kinds of things here. We can examine some memory, for example, wherever we like. 0000, zero, zero, zero is the bank register. So that's where if we wrote to that, we would change the memory bank that's in use. So for example, we could um, put a one in there and that will change to RAM bank one. And we can see that that's written. We can also read that back. It's not just a, a, a write only register. And we can set that back to bank one, uh, bank zero. You can do all the normal stuff that you can do with Wasmon. The other thing that you can do, which is really useful, you press L and you can load Intel hex files straight into the board. I don't have one handy at the moment. So in order to get that binary that we're going to load, we'll go to the Roscoe 6502 Git repository. And as usual, we'll clone that. And we'll just clone that into a local machine and the work at the moment's going on on a branch but it will be probably by the time you watch this it will be merged but if not it's the bios devel branch so we want to check that out yeah still can't type just, just not get any better uh, it's the feature it's a feature branch and cd code software and we'll just do the message test for now. I don't have Vasm installed, so again, give that a couple minutes. And as you can see here, that's installing the 6502 with the various syntax modules. It'll also install Vasm for a whole bunch of other CPUs as well. So super handy to have. It's a nice little assembler. We're also using CA65 on some of the code, but for just these basic examples, Vasm's the assembler of choice and it does a really good job. All of this is available from our homebrew tap. So any of these old tools that you need, go there. It's worth a look. Link in the description. So because I already have just the M68K version of Asm, it hasn't linked any of those that we've just installed. So I'm just going to link, overwrite, Asm all. That's installed, so now if I do a make, so we've actually got a hard-coded path in here. It must be in the actual assembly then. Okay. We will get all of this fixed uh, by the time this video goes out, so. Don't worry about any of this. this, this should all be sorted by then. So let's try that make again, vlink. That's fine, we can just brew install that. Again, homebrew tap, super useful, tap it. Let's try that make one last time, DA65. So that's no problem, we again, back to brew. This one doesn't come from our tap, this is a standard one in brew. Fingers crossed, this is the one I can feel it. Hooray. 
let's just make sure we've got all of that great stuff there we have our hex file happy days and we can send that across to the board which is still patiently waiting for us so if we go send file message test hex and what we want to do this is not like the Roscoe M68K where we use Kermit we just want to send this as a, a raw binary file it's fine it's over USB there should be no problem send that you can see it loads And there we go. All we have to do now is hit R for run, standard Wasmon command. And there we go. Message test running. So there you go, folks. That's a whistle stop tour. We're really happy with this. It's a great little thing, a kind of a, a little brother to the Roscoe M68K. Always nice to have fun with the 8 bitters. Gonna do a, a full video with all of the bank stuff, with all of Zark's SD card loading and all the stuff that he's done, the amazing work that he's been doing there. So full video for that. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed because you won't want to miss that one. But for now, this is available in the store. Go get it today. Link in the description. Catch you on the next one, folks.